Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we are going to be tackling the concept of interactions of waves. Firstly, we are going to be introduced to the concept of reflection. Technically, when a wave hits a barrier, it can't go through it as it, it bounces back. The angle that it hits the barrier is called the angle of incidence. The angle that it bounces off at is called the angle of reflection. The angle of incident equals the angle of reflection. As you can see here, we have here a barrier and we have an incident ray and a reflected one. The incident ray will create a, an angle which is called the angle of incident while a reflected ray will also create an angle which is called the angle of reflection. If we draw a normal line here, we are going to have that the angle of incident equals the angle of reflection. So if I have an angle of incident of 30 degrees, the angle of reflection will also be 30 degrees. Moving to the refraction. Refraction, waves bending because of a change in speed due to moving into a different medium. So when, when technically a wave is traveling from one medium to another medium, it changes its speed. So this is refraction. So for example, we have to put a stick in water and look at the portion under the water and it looks like it's bent. For example, if I have a cup of water and I'm going to put a pencil inside of it, I'm going to think that this pencil is broken because of the refraction. Then we have the diffraction. As you can see here from the photos, I have a source and I have, for example, teeny tiny slits. Okay, so when a wave passes through a barrier or move through a hole in a barrier, it bends and spreads out. So it's the bending of waves around edges of a barrier. As you can see here as well in the ocean, those are the barriers. Okay, and this is the spreading out of the wave. Then we have interference. When two or more waves meet, they interact with each other. There are two types of interference. We have something called constructive interference, that two waves combine together to make a wave with a larger amplitude. And then we have a destructive interference, where two waves combine to make a wave with a smaller amplitude. As you can see here, we have a constructive interference that two waves are joining and combining to make one big amplitude. While here I have a destructive interference where both of them, once they are added, we are going to have a less or technically here it is cancelled because those are opposite to each other. Okay, so this is a destructive interference. Then I have the concept of standing waves. Standing waves, which technically means a wave that appears to stay still. It's caused when reflected waves interferes with its original wave, has nodes and antinodes. Technically, a knot is where the amplitude is zero due to the destructive interference, and the antinodes are the crests and troughs of the standing waves. We are going to talk about this and much more during this week. 